Welcome to Biology in Your Backyard. I'm Dr. Mark Johnson. I'm May. And I'm Oscar. And today we're going to be looking for animals in your backyard. Let's go. There's lots of animals that you can see around your property. Whether you live in a house, a townhome, or an apartment, you can go around your property with your parents and find these animals. Some of these animals are out during the day. Others are a little bit more shy, so you may have to go early in the morning or in the evening. And if you're going out for some of those shy animals, make sure that you're quiet and observant of what's around you so you can find these animals. Now we're gonna look at what we found on our property. One of the most common animals in people's backyards is the Eastern Gray Squirrel, like this one you see here. These rodents live on the ground and up in trees, and they love to come to bird feeders where they'll collect seeds. And one interesting thing about the gray squirrel is there's actually two morphs. There's the gray morph, but then there's also the black morph, which you see here on the left. Although they look quite different, they are in fact the same species. Watch for the squirrels in your backyard, hiding seeds and nuts in holes they dig in both your gardens and in the lawn. A common squirrel that you can find in our backyard is the American red squirrel. Although small, red squirrels defend their territories fiercely, even against larger squirrels. Here, you can see the red squirrel chasing away a larger gray squirrel so that it can get at some of the seeds that we've left out for the birds. That sound you hear is the red squirrel chattering at the gray squirrel. Whoa, look at this chipmunk. This must be the chipmunk that burrowed the hole in our stump last week. Looks like it's eating seeds from our feeder. Oh, something scared it. It went back into its hole. Your property is a great place to see birds. If you have binoculars like I have here or Oscar has, or a camera, you can get up really close to them. But even if you don't have binoculars or a camera, you can still enjoy birds on your property. So let's go and see what birds we can see together. There's lots of birds you can see around your property. One of the most common ones in our area is the American Robin, shown here on our grass. They run around looking for insects and especially worms. Look at our previous episode, Searching for Animal Signs, to learn how you can spot and find their nests around your home. A great way to attract birds to your property is to put up bird feeders. You can put them in your backyard or even on your balcony. Oh look, there's a red-breasted gnathatch coming to our feeder right now. Two birds that you can often find at our feeders are the American goldfinch, which you can see in the front, and the house finch, which you can see in the back left. At this time of year, goldfinches are molting from their winter colors which we call plumage, to their summer colors. In winter, the males and females have a gray-green color all over. At this time of year, the males transform into a bright, brilliant yellow, black, and white, getting ready for the mating season. Last week, I found these woodpecker holes, and now it looks like a chickadee's stirring to make a nest in them. Now let's wait to see whether this one comes back out. There it is. Oh wow, there's a snake! Dad, I see it! It's an eastern garter snake! That's so cool! Oh, fantastic! This is the most common snake in our area, and they're completely harmless. They rarely bite, and they're fairly easy to pick up. Let's see if we can pick this one up to show everyone. I got it! but it's milked all over my hands. Now, garter snake milk isn't harmful. It just it exudes an unpleasant odor, which is used to defend itself from predators. Now, you can go ahead and pick up garter snakes. Just make sure that you wash your hands afterwards. Notice how it's sticking its tongue out? Do you know what it's doing? It's actually smelling. Of course, whenever you pick up an animal, always make sure to put it back where you found it. Some animals are very secretive, and so they are best seen at night or in the early morning. So it's getting really dark now, and to help us see, we brought this torch slash spotlight. 
I think I found the culprit to what was making those holes in our yard that we described during the last episode. It was this striped skunk, which you can see here, searching for worms and beetle larvae in our grass. Apparently, the skunk not only enjoys feasting on worms and beetles, but also on the spilled bird seed from the feeders that the raccoons knocked over last night. Oh, it must have heard me. They're very shy animals and is now running for cover. Sometimes you could even spot animals outside at night or in the morning from your own living room. Whoa, what's that out there? Whoa, that looks like an oversized rat. That's not a rat, Oscar. That's a Virginia opossum. You can recognize them because they have those long pointed faces and those relatively naked tails. Hey, look at that. There's something else in the garden. It's a cottontail rabbit. That must be what's been eating tamarack's flowers. It's now early morning, and this raccoon has climbed up this tree after spending the night looking for food in our neighborhood. I went back a little later and found it taking a nap in the crooks of the tree. Sometimes you can also find them in big holes within trees. Deer like this one often like to come into our garden at night. They enjoy feeding on some of our wildflowers. This one was photographed last summer near our house. You can tell that it's a young male because it has antlers that are already starting to grow. This winter, I woke up and I saw a coyote out my window. It looked like it was digging something out of the snow. Yes, Oscar. I think it cached a rabbit that had been killed in the snowbank in front of our yard. What a treat. Usually these coyotes are so hard to see because they're so shy. feel really lucky that we got to see this. This must be the individual that left that scat that we found in our last episode. Thank you so much for looking for animals with us. And now you can go around your own home looking for animals as well during the day, early in the morning, or in the evening. And don't forget to leave comments about what animals you've found on your property and also to subscribe to our channel so to see more content like this. And now we're going to be starting a new tradition in our YouTube videos called the Nature Fact of the Day. So our Nature Fact of the Day for you guys is, do you know what a squirrel's nest is called? It's called a squirrel dray. Cool, and see if you can find squirrel drays around your home. They're these clusters of leaves high up in trees, and those are in fact the nests of squirrels, both gray squirrels and red squirrels that we saw today. So look for those clusters of leaves high up in those trees, and you found a squirrel dray. Bye-bye. See you next time.